Alright, hey guys, welcome to the Indie Arcade. I'm Sea Beer, this is Moss Man, and today we're going to do an unboxing. Our first one ever. First one ever. And you might be thinking, like, well, what, what are you going to unbox? You just download indie games on Steam and stuff, and there's nothing to unbox. Yeah, well, you don't have to do that anymore. No, you, you can now. You'd be wrong. You would be wrong. Because mm -hmm. there's a thing called Indie Box. Look at that. Indie Box. What is Indie Box? Well, uh, at PAX Prime, we found this thing called Indie Box, and these guys had this idea of taking indie games, working with the developers, and making a box for the game. And not only did they make a box that comes with like an instruction booklet and stuff, and like, here you go, like the old days, they're also adding like exclusive items in there, like soundtracks and little trinkets and cards and stuff, and, and like cool stuff, not just like junk, like cool stuff that relates to the game, and like each one's different. Yeah, each one has its own unique set of stuff. So you, with everyone, you get the code for Steam. So you get the game on Steam, mm -hmm. and you also get the soundtrack in every single one of them. Mm -hmm. And you get this card thing that I guess you can plug into your USB and download the game or something that way too. I don't quite understand that part of it, but the, all the other items in them are unique to each one. So they do work with the developers, and they come up with special things that pertain to each game that they can put in. So each one is unique. You're never going to get the same type of stuff except yeah. for the soundtrack and the game. Exactly. And the instruction manual. You exactly. Like that too. It's brand new swag. Mm -hmm. And they even put the code on the outside of the box, which we're not going to show you. <laughs> but they put it on the outside of the box so you can, if you want to just collect them and not open them, you can do that too. Yeah, I think it's even got that scan thing for your cell phone or something so you can scan that oh, IR yeah. code or whatever they call them. QR code or something? Yeah, however easy you QVC. want. QVC. It. It's more complicated for <laughs> me. But Okay, so the Indie Box is a monthly subscription. They have three different uh, plans that you can go with. The one month plan, which is 20 bucks a month plus shipping and handling. The three month plan, at that point you get all these things at 18 bucks a month. And if you go with the six month plan, you're only paying 16 bucks a month for each of these games. Which is the best deal, but it's the most out of pocket right up front. It is, but you're getting a good bang for your buck. And I mean, that's six games. That's 16 bucks each. That's mm -hmm. a pretty good deal. Um, we're gonna sign up for it ourselves so we can actually do an unboxing every month yeah. and show you the kind of cool stuff you get because maybe you'll be like, eh, I don't know if this is for me and then you can watch our videos and be like, alright, this is definitely for me and then sign up. We don't make any money off this. We're not promoting... We did get these t-shirts for free though. Yeah, we're not... That's about it. We're promoting them and we're just doing it because we thought it was a really cool idea. Mm -hmm. So we want to help them out because that's kind of one of the things we want to do on our channel is help other people out that are doing cool stuff that's game related. We found out about this at PAX 2015. We talked to Seth there. He's one of the co-creators of this whole thing and he hooked us up with these nice t-shirts and he gave us these guacamole shot glasses that you get if you uh, buy the guacamole copy. So Seth, this shot's for you and uh, what you're doing. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah. Ooh. Some of the cheapest Canadian whiskey money can buy. Yeah. But, you know, it all works the same. So the first one that we picked up was SteamWorld Dig, and this is a favorite of mine, one of the more recent games that came out, it really reminded me of Super Nintendo style, mm -hmm. so once I saw this, I knew I had to buy it. So it comes in this nice burlap sack, it's pretty sweet, it's got a little... Real burlap. Yeah, this is real burlap, not that fake stuff. With a little logo on the front. It's the real stuff. And on the back, it has, what's it say, Aceworks Special Delivery. I guess that's the company you work for. I don't remember. It's been a little while since I beat the game. Bust it open. The game comes in a nice uh, box. I'm not quite sure oh, the yeah. size of the box, if it, how well it'll fit on your shelf, but you it, know. it's about. If I remember right, it's about the size of an old NES Nintendo game, box, but may, yeah. maybe a little thicker. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still it's a it's a good size. I guess it's about the same size as like a DVD, but it's like. Maybe two DVDs, yeah, like, like a couple discs or something. Mm -hmm. So anyway, you get the artwork on the front, neat stuff, and then on the back, kind of just like a little read. No game pictures on the back of this one, but you know, you some of them do. Point. Some of them do. Yeah, it tells you how awesome the game is. It's even got ratings. Yeah, nine point five out of ten, that good stuff. But let's get to the real fun. Tells you how many players you can do and stuff. Yeah, just like in the old days, man. Oh, totally. All right, so the first thing we pull out, this is uh, the download card or something. You can. Open this up. Oh yeah. Card comes out of here, and somehow this thing flips out or <laughs> something. I don't know. Is that a USB? 
Yeah, you popped it out somehow. You can't just pull it out with your finger? No, nah, don't break it. Well, it's it's the game, right? Oh, yeah, it's totally... Yeah, don't bust it. It's totally the game. So, anyway, this nice card comes in this thing. Plug this into your computer. <laughs> it's fancy. It's very fancy. So, this card comes in the thing. You know, you put it in your computer. This thing flips out. You can plug it in there. It comes in this nice case. Keep it all in. What else you got in there? Uh, this is the newsletter. Basically just telling you... Looks like about the company and what's in the box. Um, yeah, probably comes standard with all of them. Oh no, this does have Steam World It's got Steam World Day. Yeah, I think there's one for every game. And then, looks like we got the instruction manual, which is it's a lost really article. Cool. It's full color. You know, the games don't come with instruction manuals anymore. And I remember when I was a kid, just getting the game on the way home, I would thumb through the instruction book. And just read all, read the backstories of the characters and whatever they had in there, um, and that was like that was like what you did to hold your excitement till you got home, you know? Yeah, you kind of figured out how you were gonna play the game or what. So you kind of had a little bit of edge up by the time you get home. You're not just pushing A and B because those were like no a options. And, and a lot of older games didn't really have a lot of instructions on how to play, so you actually had to read the instruction manual. That was your, your tutorial. Yeah. This was the only way to figure it out. I haven't really went through this instruction manual very well, so I don't know how in depth it is. It looks like it's pretty. It's pretty awesome. Pretty I mean, quality. it's got great art in it. It's quality. It's not. It's not a piece of crap. Yeah, they really put their time into this thing. Even he, got notes. Even has notes section in the back, which I never use because I did not want to draw in my things. No, and you probably still don't. But you know, it's there if you're going to use it. Oh, next. So one of the reasons why I buy these, I'm a huge collector of music and stuff, so when they come with the soundtracks, that's a total bonus. And he said each one comes so with good. the soundtrack for the game. Yeah. So I remember rocking out to this thing uh, late at night, back in November. Dude, in video game music. Yeah, it's nowadays awesome. it's really stepping up. So it's, it's nice. This awesome. even has a bonus track on it, which I don't... I, does a bonus track make sense when this is the only way you can get it? I don't know. But maybe this is the only way. Maybe you can download it or something. Here you go. It's a a smaller thing, but it's an actual uh, Steamroll Dig Indie Box sticker. So it says Indie Box with their logo, but it has the theme of Steamroll Dig. So it's like a two in one. Mm -hmm. That's a cool sticker. I like that. Not yeah, it makes it unique. It's not just the same thing in every Right. You're not going to just or... get the green Indie Box logo like on our shirts. Right, like the shirt. I like that. What else we got in this one? There's still more. Oh, yeah. They keep packing it. And granted, we paid $25 for these. And just by subscribing for one month, you're only paying 20 But you had to pay shipping and handling, too. So it's you fine. do, but I'm just saying, like, we probably paid the most for these, but we're at a convention, whatever. Uh, looks like the Tumbleton sign. Mm -hmm. Population 3. Welcome. I'm going to show the folks that one. This is a uh, kind of metallic. I don't know. It's not really a magnet. It's no. more like a metallic sign. I guess you could hang it up on uh, hang it up on your wall or, you know. It's, it's cool. I mean, do it's, something uh, with it. It's just a metal sign, and it's awesome. Mm -hmm. Matches up Steam World Dig pretty well. Yeah, there's the code from the outside of the pack. Yeah, yeah. And then I think this is the last thing. Yeah. Yep. Last thing here, a cool Steam World Dig uh, set of playing cards. Yeah. And I would imagine they have Steam World Dig on the cards. It's about to open. I don't know if you want to break them open or not. Hell yeah! I bought this to play around with. Not to collect. Yeah, me too. Most of the things I buy to collect, but not this one. Yeah. I love this game too much to collect these things. No, I want the crap inside. Yeah. You know what I mean? Otherwise, I wouldn't. Help. But I like to keep it together for sure. So here's your Steam World big playing cards. Yeah. Is there any cool ones in there? Oh, I'm sure. Is there just art on the face cards? Yeah, so the Joker, you got the mayor. I think this guy was the mayor or something. He's pretty cool. Uh, you get little... The king is oh, little yeah. Timmy, the one-legged guy. Uh, the queen, obviously, is the girl. Like I said, it, it was a few months ago that I played this game, so I kind of forget the names. <laughs> Your Steam World Dig, he's the Jack. The yeah. Jack's the coolest. And then the numbers are all kind of... Oh, yeah, it's got, like, uh, uh, ore and stuff in them. Yeah, ore. That's a cool-ass-looking set. And I love those theme decks... But at the same time, I'm never gonna play with them. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not gonna play cards with these. But no, I definitely want it. But I'm not gonna play with it. If we we're gonna play poker and someone's like, "Hey, let's use these," I'd be like, "What are you doing? Not my Steam World big cards." Yeah, use the crappy ones. Use the Chimicos. 
Yeah, which totally. are like way better. <laughs> so, yeah, dude, that was the Sea World Dig Box. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit of stuff for twenty five bucks, and don't forget you do get the game as well. So you know you'd pay what right. ninety bucks for it on Steam, so it's only extra. Yeah, I think I paid like ten bucks on Xbox One to get it. Yeah, so you're not so, paying that much more, and you get a lot. Yeah, it's definitely for collectors for sure. And I don't know anything, anybody. This is for anybody. If you like the game, it's for you, man. If you mm -hmm. like collecting stuff, material things, you're not just about download and nothing. You're not about virtual you. collections, you're about physical collections. Yeah. If you like taking on real estate in your homes, you need to buy this stuff. Definitely. All right? And again, we're making no money off this. It's just cool. And some of these you can buy singles on the website, too. So you can buy past boxes. So I don't know if they have yeah. this one. Some are sold out. They had this at the convention, so I assume they still have Steve Little Dig on there if you want to pick it up. But mm -hmm. I would act now because it looks like once they're sold out, they don't get any more in. Yeah, that's that's definitely a thing. So, so subscribing is obviously the best choice. Get it while it's fresh and hot before you miss your chance. There you go. You heard it from the from the man. I like to collect stuff. I know how it goes. I've missed out on many opportunities. That's true. <laughs> so yeah, that was Steam World Thing, and uh, we'll see you next time on the yeah. Indie Arcade. Peace. Later.